Well, now we have to get into this highly anticipated interview. Yes. I told you guys we would have some special guests in the building. These guys are sharp. Let's turn down a little bit in the studio. These guys are very sharp. They I look like, great. I like these pieces y'all wearing, man. You guys look man. amazing. Okay, thank you. So, like I told you guys, we're, we're having a special guest and his business partner. We have Anthony Lolly in the building. He is the CEO and founder, and founder of uh, Rapid Realty. If you guys don't know about Rapid Realty, you live in a hole somewhere. Isn't that right? Because you are all over the place. Everywhere. How many franchises do you have right now? 64. 64? Wow. Speechless. <laughs> and it's just, is, is that just in New York City? No, we actually just celebrated uh, launching our franchise in San Diego, Cali. So congratulations. Oh. We're in Boston. Very good. Yes, Very hey, good. Let's get a clap there. Yeah. 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 Wow. So what, what's next for you? You're opening up franchises all over the place. All over the place. Florida, you know, the South Beach area, okay. Orlando. Oh, I'm going to have mean, to go back to Orlando and get some of that Orlando money. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, what, what do you guys specialize in as far uh, as real We mainly estate? specialize in residential rentals and retail commercial space rentals. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's they're do really points. doing their thing. There's no other points. company out there that's doing exactly what they're doing. And I would know because I just got involved with Rapid Realty. So oh. You guys didn't know that. <laughs> oh, I so did because you don't. It, so if you guys anything. want to, if anybody here wants to get some real estate money, this is where you you want to get involved with. So yes. we're not only talking to Anthony Lolly, we're also talking to his business partner Carlos Angelucci. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. Happy to be here. Good, it's sir. Great to have you both. So we know you're successful people. We've seen you on the magazines. We we have seen all the interviews. I'm not even gonna. What do you want to say something? No, I'm sorry. I was just admiring uh, uh, his watch. <laughs> Jules. And Let's get the watch in there. Wow. Did you see that? It's, Bling bl it's blinding right now. <laughs> so we're not only going to talk about success, their success, because what we know, Rapid Realty is one of the top companies out there. Featured in Inc. Magazine. How was that feeling, by the way? I mean, it feels great. We're getting back-to-back -back awards. I just came back from San Francisco where I got the Golden Bridge Award. Wow. 2011, Mark wow. Zuckerberg and um, Jeff Weiner, the founder of LinkedIn. They got it. They got the same award So now you I got, got it. So now I got Amazing. the same award. So, and now y'all here? This, is, this yes, is big. I'm it's telling crazy. you. I told going, you guys we're, I we're, something. We're going to Barcelona uh, next week. We're gonna get, uh, I'm getting an American Business Award. And then uh, next month we're getting a... Uh, from Smart CEO Magazine, we're getting that uh, for the fastest uh, 50. It's, it's a, an Future award 50 called award. the Future 50 for the 50 fastest growing companies in wow. New York City. So. Is yeah. it privately held companies it's or companies private, in It's general? a privately held. And you mentioned Inc. We got that last year. We got in 2012, we were named one of the fastest growing companies in America and got an award by Inc. Magazine. You see, I'm telling you, these people are doing the thing. So if you're listening right now, let them know the number. If they have any questions to ask uh, some entrepreneurs and if they – when a lot of our audience are people who have ambition and they want to become successful in whatever they do, whether it's in entertainment or in business. So this is a perfect time for you guys to send in your questions so we can ask Anthony and Carlos for you guys. So not only do we want to just talk about your success, we want to talk about the journey to success. Um, one thing we were talking about earlier here on the show was whether or not having your parents – uh, support is important to your becoming successful or does it matter well you know I grew up from humble beginnings you know uh, my mother was an immigrant from Ecuador mm -hmm. my father was from Italy a World War II veteran she came to this country lived in an abandoned building wow. um, worked in wow. sweatshops and then eventually uh, became a home attendant uh, and got her cosmopolitan license and did hair and, and makeup and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and my father was a school teacher. He retired on a small pension, which wasn't enough to make ends meet. Right. And um, part of my success is because of my upbringing from my parents. They were able to give me what they couldn't in money. They gave me in love and caring. Mm, so I nice. think that's important. Um, but when you get to a certain age, when you come into your own and you understand life, then it's really up to you. It's really up to you. It's really up so, to you. There's no excuse. You can't change the past. All you can do is change the present and future. Wow. So a lot of people here were talking about the fact that a lot of people have, like she wanted to get into uh, theater and um, she wanted to get into communications like in, the, in the entertainment industry. But the parents are like, no, don't do that. You should do this instead because, oh, yeah, no, you know. That's bad. that's bad business right there because, you know, that's the thing. You might get a false read. Your family may love you, adore you, care yeah, about you. Right. But, but 
that doesn't necessarily mean they should give you business advice. And I always make this analogy. You know, if you get sense. brain surgery, you're not going to have your mom, your dad or your brother, your sister do it for you just because they love you. They're going to do the best they can. You want right. to hire the best. So you don't want to get those mind viruses. You don't want to talk to mind a nine to viruses. five. Somebody know, jot that about down. A 1099 lifestyle. It's a totally different lifestyle. And, and, and some parents and some family members might go for safety first. Right. And that safety that's is a paycheck. That's you know, I always about, say right. it's like licking honey from a thorn. When you take Ow. a paycheck, so you that know. Hurts. Well, what's interesting is we talk about this all the time because in our in our line of business, you're talking about you know we're recruiting and dealing with people that are in sales, and there's right. no guarantees. No so guarantees. You're, in you're sales. dealing with someone who is starting a new career, embarking on a new journey. Who now you first of all, it's tough enough to recruit someone that is going to work on commission based sales only. Right. You have to have an entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. But just because you are an entrepreneur on the inside doesn't mean that your friends and family are going to be supporting you to right. do it. And you got to understand one of the things we train our people to learn is they have your best interest at heart. They yes. think they're doing right by That's you by, by advising you against it because they might you know see you coming home and maybe you didn't make a check that week or or you didn't close the deal. But that's up to you. One of the things that we train them on is we say, look. Don't wear. It's okay to wear your heart on your sleeve, but if you're still getting it, there's a learning curve. You're, if you're still not, you know, a, a superstar in your industry, if you're coming home with your problems and you're letting it be known that you're struggling yeah. still, or they don't understand that you're still learning, uh, that that's where the problems come. You need to train them to to have some sort of level of tolerance and understand that ultimately your goal is to is is to reach a, a certain level, mm -hmm. and it doesn't come easy. It does it, not it's, come it's, easy. It's a lot of work. No, the thing is, your parents or your family, your loved ones, they're gonna love you no matter what. They don't Let's love you because so. you're rich or famous, right? Well. So you might Let's got, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> well. you, you know, they might be telling you, hey, look, we don't want to see you struggle. Just, you know, just do just the, get a job and just yeah. do what you got to do. And, you know, that's it. So were you guys always interested in real estate or was this kind of something that you just fell into? I, I, I am just speak on his behalf. Okay. He's interested in a lot of things. Yeah, He's do all over things. the yeah, place. Yeah, we do, we do entertainment. We're in the press and the media like 20 times a month. I'm a regular contributor on Fox Business. Hey, now. We had a story that went viral about four months ago, internationally viral. Yes. Uh, 59 people in the company, they love the company so much that they actually got the logo tattooed on their body, on their arm, on their <laughs> ear, on their wow. leg, on their wrist. Yes. And the line is around the corner. We're doing more tattoo sessions tomorrow. Uh, we have a reality show that's uh, being taped about our company and what we do and just all the fun things. We have an entertainment company because of the reality show. So I have a, a home in Bay Ridge. It's like a celebrity home. They call it the Lolly Mansion. I've been there, guys. Yeah, it's, it's cool. You didn't even cool. know I was there. <laughs> no, no, I didn't know. <laughs> I wasn't. How yeah. did you? <laughs> so the house is that big. The that you don't even. No, 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 no. I mean, you don't actually, even. But she went to an event. Like it, no, it, I, no, I went to, um, I was reading the Rapid oh, okay. Scrolls. That's right. And it that's was, right. Oh my God, breathtaking. <laughs> Once I walked in there, I think I was dealing with his, his assistant. Once I got there, I literally felt like I wasn't in New York anymore. Because you know you have those grand houses in Atlanta, in Florida, and that's it's what got, I felt like I was. It's got a lot was. of coverage too. I mean, CBS did a piece on it called Living Large on their 5 yes. o'clock news session. Uh, also, uh, NBC's Open House New York did a piece on it. Wow. And then in addition to that, there's a bunch of rap videos that have been filmed there. Yeah. 50 Cent did an SK Energy drink commercial. Mm -hmm. And we've been using it a lot for different different types of uh, events. Uh, some that we talk about and others that we don't. <laughs> keep it keep it. I want to go to those. I'm, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I think we all trying to get into that. I know, right? Yeah. No, we, DTF, we definitely got to. DTF. Gotta, DTF. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely have to have a, a tour real yes, quick, maybe. Yes, absolutely. We'll see. We'll see. So you got. You seem like you've always had this entrepreneurial mindset. Growing up, have you ever wanted to do something where your parents were like, oh, maybe that's not what you should do. Lean this way a little bit. Or were you always, were you and your parents always on the, on the same well, you know, my father, because he didn't have a lot of money, he had to go out and uh, be a street entertainer. So he had this blue and gold parrot a McCall. Oh, really? And he would go around wow. and put the bird on couple shoulders and take their picture and do stuff in the seaport and Little Italy and restaurants and stuff like that. So I saw him hustling. You know, I saw the opportunity that you could kind of live a better lifestyle if you were willing to roll up your sleeves and do more than what a typical 9 to fiver does. So... I mean, I think in that sense, we were on the same page. You know, okay. my mother wow, was more lucky. pro, go to school, get a degree. And my dad was more like, you know, my dad, interestingly enough, he was a school teacher. So he was against going to school. So it was like wow. back and forth between the both of them. Mm -hmm. But um, eventually they surrendered to uh, me wanting to just 
be an entrepreneur and just go all out and take care of the family. You're one of the yeah. lucky ones. Yeah. Because yes. a lot of yeah. people, they will struggle with that forever. Well, and you I know, know I'll be one of those people. You know what it is? Some people don't understand. You got to taste it. You know, success comes in many different ways. Yes. You could taste success by progress, by knowledge, by feeling good, by accomplishing goals. And eventually you use that to reinforce that you're doing the right thing and the money will come. Why don't you stop? Well, because you, you, I mean, I could tell by the watch that you, you were very, <laughs> you were well off. Yes, like what? What makes you keep going? Like how many? All these franchises you have, all these yeah. businesses you have. Do you get time to sleep? Do you get? You know, I, honestly, people like, do you sleep? No, I don't sleep. I, I have a saying: Why sleep when you're living your dreams? Right. So Deep. it's nice. like I, I, I somebody I, jot that somebody down. Write yeah, that yeah, down. Yeah, jot that one down too. Head tweet that That's so going you know it's it's hard i'm restless at night because i wonder what's going to happen the next day you know it's just you know one minute we're we're getting an award the next minute we're with raekwon in my rolls royce talking about doing a charity to get out you know the next just, time they're on dtf radio with the josie marie show that's right, that's right. <laughs> you know. I know. yeah hey <laughs> don't, no, but don't you, know, you hype you know, us you up know what's interesting is that i mean what he's talking about is it's not work for us it hasn't been worked for a long time it, I mean, it's it's just something we do. We wake up, and every day is exciting for us. So, you know, we're here today. On Friday, we'll be in London for a business meeting. On Monday, we have a big award ceremony in Barcelona, Spain. Amazing. On Tuesday, we're doing a show. We're, right now, we're at DTF Radio. Next Tuesday, we'll have a show that's got 7 million listeners in, out of the Chicago market. We'll be in studio on a radio show. Very and nice. And so, I mean, and then, then we come back, fly back to New York. Then we have a grand opening in Boston for our first Boston office. Mm -hmm. Then we have a West Coast Franchise Expo in Anaheim, California. So, wow. I mean, the bottom line is we travel, but we don't only do business. There's a lot of fun that uh, that we incorporate into everything that we do. So, for us, uh, we might not sleep as much, but we don't need to. We don't feel like uh, we Dude. need to have our Very eyes closed at any moment. We're gonna. I have some more questions. Yeah, I got. And I got I more questions. I never want to take a break. You guys know that. But we have to take a quick, quick break. We gotta turn it over to DJ Prince, and we'll be back with Anthony and Carlos. So yes. Stay with us, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for staying with us. Yeah. It's the Josie Marie yeah. Show, sponsored by I Review Hip Hop. I'm your host, Josie Marie. Yes, and I am the co-host, Jay Lorenzo. And we've been having a great conversation Absolutely. with the founder and CEO of Rapid Realty, Anthony Lolly, and his business partner, Carlos. A um, few questions. You guys are obviously successful. We don't have to keep talking about that, although I want to be in your shoes. We could keep talking about it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, right? Hey, look, I ain't mad it doesn't at you. Hurt. But let, we have some people listening who I'm sure are wondering this. If you're just a regular 9 to 5 person um, who wants to end up sitting in the shoes you're in, the seats you're in right now, and the, you know, walk in your shoes, how do they get started? Uh, by listening to shows like this oh, that yes. talk about really entrepreneurialism and success. By surrounding yourself around successful people. Yes. By going on YouTube and looking at bios, mm. not just for the success, but their trials and tribulations. You know, mm -hmm. the man with no shoes felt bad until he saw the man with no feet. Right. Wow. So sometimes Deep. we feel sorry like for down. ourselves and our situation, but down. the fact is there's somebody else there more grateful and more ambitious with less. Yes. So you got to really do whatever you can. So, so, like, really, like, people want to know how do they get started? How do you get started? Yeah. Like Google. what in the world? Research. You got to know. I mean, so many people approach me about business ideas and yeah. stuff and they don't know anything. The stuff that you could do for free. Research. Learn everything. Learn who your competitors Knowledge are. Go to networking events. Yeah, you have to you have to be a, a connoisseur of whatever it is that you do. So for us, we're in the business of real estate. We're in the business of of entertainment to a certain extent. Franchising. And franchising. We know everything there is to know about anything that we're involved in. Bottom line is, if you if we had an interview today that was related to the government shutdown, that's a big hot topic right now. Yeah. Or whatever it is, we could know nothing about it, right. and we would be experts in it by the time we're at the interview point. You got to be research oriented, but it goes beyond just doing a quick, simple Google search. You have to actually you read articles and what we do is to stay informed we subscribe through Twitter through to every major publication in our mm. industry and outside mm -hmm. of our industry I also keep myself informed on sports news because I like sports for entertainment and recreational purposes so I subscribe
subscribe to every hot r reporter that's out there that's going to you know send out breaking news. I try to stay in the know with current events, and then we work with each other. So in our business, we have a lot of chemistry. So right. whatever you know, Anthony didn't get to read or catch up on, somehow I'm there, and, and, and we balance each other out in that way. So sometimes you know it's good to have that type of support, but if you don't have it, it's as simple as just educating yourself and staying staying in the know is so critical. You can't listen. We have meetings with people all the time. They want to do business with us. They they want to sit down and have a meeting, and we're like, okay, first educate yourself on who we are and what it is that we bring to the table. And then beyond that, when we're at the point of sitting down, it's such a frustrating thing when we're talking to them about something they should know more about and because you know it's their industry. Them. Right. And then we know more, and we're actually feeling like we're coaching them. And we're like, you can't sit here and say you want to do business with me and, and not know I'm as telling much you. about your own topic that we know. So right. I think very, that's, very that's very critical. But one more thing I want to say is, being a nine to fiver, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we need it. I mean, every there's there's different positions for everyone. Right. Uh, so sometimes the first question you have to ask yourself is, are you ready to, to embark in such a journey to become an entrepreneur? Because a lot of people, you know, uh, they 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 fool themselves into thinking they're entrepreneurs, but they're not. And the reason they're not is they're not willing to put the work in. Mm. You, know, you got to be able to go with no sleep. You got to be able to have the unlimited stamina to to, to stick it out. You got to sacrifice. So Absolutely. Uh, sacrifice on all different levels. That means you're not going to have time to watch the game or, or keep up with friends or family or even uh, time with your children. If you're not changing your lifestyle and you're not making a sacrifice, then you're not going to be successful. If you still have the same routine and you're not sacrificing something, you're not going to be successful. For sure. Well, s speaking of sacrificing, uh, what, what were you guys, what have you guys sacrificed to get where you are? Because I'm sure in a, in a business that you guys are in, a lot of these things in your life had to change, like friends and relationships, dating. What, what, what are you guys doing differently than, than, than you were doing before? Well, I get rid of all negative energy around me. So you Inclu just including people. Exa exactly. Absolutely. That's where allergic the negative is. Allergic to negativity and. Um, Write that down. Right there. <laughs> that was, it was good. Write that down. You know, right down, um, down. You know, sometimes you outgrow your friends, you outgrow your relationships, and you just got to get rid of them. Mm. You know, you can't be so friendship desperate. You know, you got to wow. be able to have. Wow, yeah. that's a good one. You yeah. can't be so friendship desperate. You got to be able to have the personality to make new friends. Yeah, we see know? it all the time. I mean, it's like it becomes a balance of what's the right thing to do for your business and your career. And you have to, it's not being selfish. You're doing the right thing. That's Sometimes, what I was going to ask Let me you. tell you, you're doing a disservice to a person that if you're carrying them. You know what I mean? There's mm. situations where when I first, first of all, I started in this company. I didn't come in and I wasn't the COO of the company. I came in as a real estate salesperson on rental commissions and I had to earn my way up and work, 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 just outwork everyone. So when I first started, I was seeing Anthony carrying people and then little by little, it became more and more apparent that that nepotism, the, 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 the favors he was doing for some of these friends who aren't really his friends because they really were just milking the system. Leeches. You know, he was just <laughs> carrying them to the point where ultimately he, he with experience, he smartened up and, and, and they really got rid of themselves. And mm. they were just Fall boxed out because they couldn't hang. They couldn't keep up with what, what was needed to, with the workload. And, and then, the, you know, the cream rises to, to, to the, 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 the top. There's an entrance fee. Well, like that Carlos likes to talk about to get into the club. Well, what it is is that in, in our a lot of times we meet a lot of people or there's people that have been in Anthony's life for a long time or our lives, and they want to be part of this success club, this Lolly club or Lolly and Carlos club. And we say, look, no problem. You can join the club, but there's a membership fee. And the membership fee is you, you got to be able to go with no sleep for three or four days sometimes. You got to be able to have stamina. You got to be able to bring something new to the table and always be useful. One of the key things to being a success is that you have to be in a position where you're always being innovative. You have to have you have to be useful. You can't be uh, you can't be you can't have a shelf life. It can't right. be like you were just useful and you were a tool for a month or two for that or purpose. a year or two. You have to continue to re you reinvent, reinvent it. yourself right. if it's necessary and grow with whatever the needs of the business are. So uh, you know that that membership fee is, is just something that we kind of just toy around and joke with. But but it's true. You got if you want to hang, you, you just got to be able to work. You yeah. got to work. What's the application for the membership? I want to join the club. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to join the club. But do you think, like you said, entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur is not for everybody, it's no. like you said. No. So what, what are the top, let's say, top three reasons, each of you, what are the top three reasons you think people will not be successful? Like some people will not be successful because of It takes of financial things. starvation. It takes a lot of mental stress. Can you stress. explain that? Mental well, that means you got to go broke before you get rich. Really broke. 
Like seriously, bro. Have you ever been there? I've been there, sure. I've had fires where I lost everything. Mm. I've I've been down at the I mean, bottom. Not, this is, we're not talking to silver spoon individuals. This right. is all self made. Uh, you know, we just talked on uh, when we were on the break where we grew up. Yeah. yeah. I grew up in Coney Island, which is uh, the hood. <laughs> not, <laughs> you know, not, and, the, and, not the most safe place. Anthony didn't have any rich parents. He was just rich in love. He talks about that all the time. Rich in love. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because people ask us or ask him sometimes. You know, I, it's, it's interesting. I went to a tire shop a couple weeks ago to pick somebody up who had an issue, and I was just helping him out. And the guy at the shop is like, Hey, uh, aren't you? Don't you work with Anthony? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, yeah. Didn't his father start that real estate company or this? And I'm like, his <laughs> oh, father wow. didn't start anything. What are you talking about? But it was like such a hater thing to say. It was just yeah. he was just trying to like get under this. I don't even know why people do that. He drives okay. a Rolls Royce, and they're like, he probably <laughs> that, rented oh, that. No, thing. That's, no, we were driving. That's why. We were driving yeah. in the in the Ghost the other day. Some guy. You were driving in the what? In the, the Ghost. In the Rolls Royce and the Ghost. Oh, we okay. have we, we have the <laughs> Mr. Lolly played on it. So some guy, some car service guy, goes, hey. How do you like that rented car? Uh, are you serious? Like, 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 it's, like, it's not. And he's like, how about those plates? Who's that daddy? Yeah. And we were like, so, so what happened? It was crazy. So I got out the car. I ripped the guy out of the driver's seat. Are I you stomped serious? on his face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. I was like, we may need to shut his mic off. Let's just shut his mic off. Turn this down right now. <laughs> nah, nah, wait, listen. When you after Fed's a certain watching. point, you can't have road you rage. You can't. There's too yeah, much to lose. You can't, we can't do that. Listen, somebody cut you off. Why get into a fight when you can run the risk of having something happen like what happened recently with that with that, uh, that with the bike biker again? Bike, yep. You don't need that. Who cares? Yes. So uh, financial starvation. Financial starvation. The next one. Um, getting rid of friends and and being alone. You got to be okay with being alone for a little yeah. while. Right. So you so you could bring something to the table, you know, and attract the right type of friends. Hmm. Okay. Deep, deep stuff. So what? Uh, we we, we got to take a quick break, but what? But I don't want to take a break. We're we, gonna keep going. Oh, uh, hey, wait. <laughs> okay. So what? She has spoken. What? Hey, I can't. I can't argue <laughs> it with that. Josie Marie show. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no. What about you though? Uh, quick three things that will make people not successful. I think that we touched on a couple of them already. Mm-hmm. I think it's a matter of of being wi- uh, willing to put the work in and being educated. I think sometimes people take it too lightly. I think they they don't do enough. Uh, they don't go beyond putting a business plan together. They have all these ideas. I have meetings with people sometimes. Some of our own people they're like, I have all these plans. By the age of 25, by the age of 30, I'm gonna own three houses. I'm gonna have this. But it's a lack of planning. And I say to myself, I ask them. I, I say, how are you going to get to that point? You know, how is it that you're going to reach that? Right. And they don't, they don't actually have a plan. I think a lack of planning. And then on top of that, there's people that actually do plan but don't execute. Mm. They might have something written out, laid out, but they don't actually do it. There's a lot mm. of people like that. Mm-hmm. What, what do you think the biggest cause of that? Because I've experienced that with people, and it's I think like it's fear. Human nature. I think people are natural procrastinators. I think people put things off. I, I, I mean, we see it all the time. I think that people want to wait till the last minute. They, they, they take too long. You know, there's too much time spent on thinking about how hard the task is. That's too much energy, too much brain power wasted on how am I going to get this done instead of just, you know, doing, doing it. And they have you the have wrong vision of success. If success to you is just lamping on a beach looking at the sand and the water, then, then you, you have another thing coming to you. Right. Think about some of the most successful people you see around the world. When they when billionaires retire, you know what they do? They do philanthropy, mm. which is a lot of work. Right. You, know, you see Bill Gates going around from country to country Give and doing money. all sorts of things. That's time. Yes. I, another question. Um, actually, let me just welcome our, uh, our guest, Vic. He's in the building. A little late. <laughs> What's up? You got yeah. stuck in the storm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Thanks for being here. Yes, yeah, so he was here last week. He briefly. was here last week yes. with Moses. Uh, they were promoting the new movie Torn, and um, actually, Vic and Anthony, you know each other. That's right, of course. Yeah, you yeah, worked definitely. it. You, you, you guys are friends. Now, listen, Vic is family. First of all, is, it part of, is he in the club? Vic's, Vic's in the Vic club. Of course, Vic is in the club. He's, he's uh, he owns our our Crown Heights location on Eastern Parkway. Yes. Uh, which is a hot hot neighborhood for real estate, especially for rentals. But obviously, he's got a lot of things going on. I'm sure he explained some of them last week. But mm-hmm. but uh, we know Vic from very early on in the process. Um, from when we just had literally one location and then a test pilot store because when before we became a big franchise we had our own test pilot store in Crown okay. Heights and uh, somehow he walked in there or, or met when we represented him on some of his apartments because he's also a landlord investor developer and he does uh, a lot and he's got yeah he's got a lot of things going on he does daycares he does movies he's a doctor this that guy everything I mean this guy <laughs> this guy do you sleep he's a doctor in property he's a doctor. management the whole thing really porn star but anyway no, <laughs> <laughs> 
You a porn star? A doctor porn star, real estate mogul. Scratch that. And he's a Sagittarius. No, no. But Vic, Vic. So yeah, so Vic owns one of the offices, and and. I see he's here with with the, with one of the guys, one of his top guys that manages the office. That's also been with us for a long time, Keenan. Yes. So shout out to Keenan Wilson. Keenan, we and my, are heavy and rapid realty right <laughs> now. I know, right? <laughs> yes. Really, thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, too. We're gonna get with you in a minute, but I just want to ask you, uh, Anthony. I would describe you as a king of branding with this rapid realty. If someone is trying to brand themselves um, in any business, entertainment, in real estate, anything, if daycares, what is the key thing that a few key things they have to remember in, when it comes to branding themselves. It has to be real. You have to be the real deal. You can't be a hollow entrepreneur. I have an open Facebook page. We post all the time what we're doing yes, you do. on Instagram because we live the life that we preach. We, right. we practice what we preach, and people can actually achieve the same lifestyle and the same happiness if they follow in the footprints. We're no different than... Quincy Jones laying the blueprint for Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons laying the blueprint for P. Diddy. P. Diddy laying the blueprint for, for Jay-Z and 50 Cent. Mm. So you're supposed to get better with time. So we're laying the blueprint for entrepreneurs that follow in our footsteps and can take it to the next level. Right. I also think it's important with branding that that you're, you, know, you use social media. I mean, I think it's like right in, in today's day and age... Uh, you have to be on social media one way or another. Yes. Because it's very a, important. It's not like years ago where you have to take, you know, you have to be in an article and you hope to reach the local market. Now you can reach millions of people across the world and stay connected just through social media. So mm -hmm. take advantage of it or get left behind. Yeah, all right, definitely. Yeah. So uh, I think they're going to make me just take a break. Is this what we're doing? N no. Is that well, what yes. Doing? Okay. Well, I just um, have another question because <laughs> I just I want to. And I got a quick question after from, you. All right, go ahead. Ask the question. I yeah, know because you get it in. yeah, because I, I I know you you guys talked about if you just you know want to do this if you're doing this for lamping on the beach purposes you're in it for the wrong. Right. So what are you guys' motivation? Like, what keeps you guys moving? And what's the end goal of your goals that you want to do? We live a life that's like watching a movie and we're wondering what's going to happen next. Okay. So many positive things come out of it. Right now, we support about 26 different charities. And we change people's lives in, in one way or the other. And like you mentioned, with all the traveling and all the things that we're doing and expanding, we're cutting a ribbon in, in San Diego just last week with two young guys that have families, wives, children, that they could take this to the next level. They mm. could end up owning 20 rapid realties on the West Coast. So, wow. I mean, that's just, you know, it's just an amazing feeling to be able to help people and help yourself at the same time. I was in, the, in Jersey just two days ago at the Seeing Eye Academy where they train dogs for, for blind people and mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm like, man, you know, what a facility. I want to make more so I can give more. All right, you know, right, so it's right, that right. kind of thing that, 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 that just hits you when you start meeting interesting people and you realize how big the world really is yes. and how much, you know, they always say it's a small world, it's a small world. It is, but it isn't. There's so much to see and so many people to meet, yeah. so many people that change your life and just experiences. Personally, well, I like to make more so I could spend more. Hey, <laughs> look, see, <laughs> Let's keep it real. you kept, you know, you know, kept it know, honest. But, but in addition to that, you know, we have we, we come across so many people that we're in business with that, you know, we, we, we like to think that we have a familial type of environment. We like to build and we're listen, we don't do business with anyone. We can't sit down and have a beer or a drink or lunch with. Mm -hmm. That's that's one of the things we look for chemistry. So we like to to be surrounded around people that have a similar mindset that are positive, that are looking to grow, and also that are fun to be around and we can hang out with, you know. Definitely. That's, that's, that's what we do. Because like you said, it's not, you don't, you don't want to feel like it's work. It's actually your life. It's, right. Wow. Well, Vic, you can, you can chime in on this question as well. Sure. I want to ask you guys, um, if you guys are just joining us, we have uh, co the founder and uh, CEO of Rapid Realty, Anthony Lolly in the mm -hmm. building. We have Carlos. I'm sorry, your last name is going to get me again. Angelucci. Angelucci. In the <laughs> Angelucci. And then we also have entrepreneur, doctor, business owner, daycare owner. I mean, he just does everything. Doctor daycare. Were, doctor daycare. Doctor daycare. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were introduced to him last week as well. Victor's in the building. Um, so obviously we have three very successful individuals here. And uh, this question I have is, is actually serious. I've pondered on this for a while based on conversations I've had with people in the past. Do you think that your success or your destiny is in your hands or is it predetermined? Because sometimes I know people who are always trying and trying to climb up, to climb up, to be successful, but it's like they always stay on one level. Do you think that it's in your hands or is it predetermined? Like, what do you think, Anthony? It's in your hands. You know, a car could keep trying and trying, but when you open up the hood, you see that you didn't put gas in it. 
You didn't oil it oh, up. You didn't do the nice. maintenance. You're just and full then of you're wondering why man. you're stuck on the side of the road. This is great. This I mean, is a great metaphor. Yeah, no, it's true. It, it, it's it's true. just really what it boils yeah. down to. You got to really work hard. You look at the people that are making it. I mean, you got, you know, even the mayor, Bloomberg, you know, he's got a 6 a.m. radio show. He's got a schedule up. Then this is a billionaire guy. Right. You know what I mean? Carlos Slim, the, the richest man in the world. This guy's busy nonstop. I mean, you know, when you look at some of these guys and then you look at what you're doing, you're saying, I'm not working hard enough. Mm. Mm. What do you think? You agree? Oh, listen, I totally agree. I'm not. I mean, and this is a personal question that is all some of it. It's even spiritual to a certain it extent, is. this it question. Is. So it, it, and it's OK. Everybody has their own beliefs. And there are some things that some people some people are actually, you know, uh, they have a mixed reaction to this question. Some people say some things I feel like our destiny and others. For me, I think everything's in your own hands. And I think the. I think it's a matter of actually making what you want happen happen. Mm -hmm. And I know there are people out there that, like you said, they try something, they keep trying, they're trying, but they're clearly not doing it right or not making the right connections or they, you know, I tell our agents, our salespeople in the offices all the time, they go to the office early in the morning, they leave late at night, by the time you look back, they don't, they didn't land the deal, they didn't get a cut, they didn't go out in the field, they didn't go show an apartment. And they were in the office for 12, 13 hours. And I tell them, don't get that confused. Just because you're in the office for 12 hours a day doesn't mean you put a hard day's work to mm. work in. Mm. You're staring at the computer. You're putting one or two ads up every hour. Whatever it is you're doing, you're not doing enough because with the same exact tools, the same exact inventory, the same exact opportunity, somebody else made money today. Mm. And maybe they had even less experience than you. So right. that person did something that obviously you didn't do. So it's in your hands. And what do you think, Victor? Yeah, I agree 110%. Like a perfect example, um, I could give uh, you guys actually. You know, when I met up with Anthony and Carlos, one of the most interesting thing I noticed about them was is that these guys work to like 4 a.m. and they could text you at like 2 a.m. like it's 12 p.m. <laughs> so then I remember, you know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, and it, oh yeah, all the time, and <laughs> and that was, you know, it was like a wake up call for me, honestly. Like if you see successful people doing things that you're not doing, then you should be doing them. So if you don't uh, take it in your hands and just make it happen, then it's just not going to happen. Okay. Basically. Very interesting. What is, what is some of the best advice that you can give somebody who wants to be in your shoes, you know, right now? Just about achieving their dreams. Doesn't have to be, you know, what you guys are doing, but just achieving their dreams and, 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 and want to go if out there. If they want to be in our shoes, we are a franchise company. <laughs> okay. So they can start off with what we're about to offer on the air right now. So if anybody's listening, this is exclusive. Deep stuff. Um, Here we go. Exclusive. We're, Here we go. We're willing to sponsor and pay for anybody's real estate license. So if Shh. they call in, even if they email in, they're listening in, just say that you heard it on this show. And we will honor it. We'll give them a free voucher so they can start their career. So they have no excuse. No so they excuse. don't have to pay to get a real estate license. That goes with everybody who's in the studio. Come That's on. Right. I got to clap for that. That's good. And then secondly, um, if you want to be the CEO of your own franchise, we can help you and guide you. And, and mold you to own your own franchise. So if they want to be in our shoes, they can. There's no excuses. There's no, no excuses. excuses right here. No excuses. You guys Opportunity have been right so, here. so inspiring today. Um, Victor, what? I have to ask you a question that I asked both of them before you sure, arrived. Sure. Do you think that having, and this goes back to, you know, you're African, I'm African, mm -hmm. African parents are like super strict. African thing. You know. <laughs> so do you feel like having your, uh, your parents' support and approval, do you think that that, that helps you become more successful in life or oh, does it matter at all? 110%. One of the first things that happened to me um, coming to America was uh, I remember my first I wanted to go outside and play. Like, I had literally just put my suitcase down. My mom smacked me on the back of my head and was like, <laughs> no, sit down, I need you to type me, so, type me up something. Right. And it was a medical bill. That was the first task I did in America. So, like, it's different, you know, I, I, and I remember once going to a friend's house and his mother offering me a joint. So you can imagine. A joint? Yeah. His mom? His mother, yeah, his mother offered me a joint. So I was like, wow, wow. that's completely different from what I'm getting in my house. So it just really depends on you know, your upbringing has a lot to do with your parents, you know, forcefulness and strictness. My dad was 10 times stricter than my mom, so you can imagine. Yeah, you know, me so, too. But 110%, if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't be where I, 
You didn't take the joint, did you? Of course. I did. Okay, no, no, good. No, no, just I make, did. Did. Okay, just making, just making no, sure. I was okay. actually in pure shock. I've never like. <laughs> never. But it, but it, but it shows you. It shows you like what's really going on out there as far as influences from your parents is concerned. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we've heard a lot from the three of you, gentlemen. I really want to thank each one of you for being yes. here today. Yes. Uh, we couldn't have had a better or even more inspiring show today. Um, you guys were Happy great. To be here. Great yes. time. And I hope this isn't the last time you guys are here. Absolutely not. No, we'll abs- here anytime. And next time we're gonna take the Josie Marie show to the Lolly Mansion. That's right. Hey, yeah. look, I would, I would love to. Yes. We'll do a poolside. Yeah, we yes. I, I can't so swim, but I'll be on the three feet. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where can people go to uh, get in contact, find out more information, especially about the real estate? Well, there's, um, if you want to be inspired, you can always go to anthonylolly.com, but I'm fully in all social media, Instagram, Anthony Lolly. Facebook, Anthony Lolly, friend request me. I'm the one that updates my Facebook. It's me. People wonder, is that you? Yeah, yeah. it's me. It's me. Because I wonder, because you are really on yeah, it yeah, it's all me. the time. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you have rapidnyc.com. We have a careers page on there, and it walks you through all the steps on how to embark in a career with Rapid Realty. Definitely. So, guys, there are a lot of opportunities out here no uh, to become successful. Uh, like they said, if you're if what you're doing right now is not getting you to where you you want to be, you got to try something different. And um, destiny is is in your hands. Really, I truly believe that. And never ever give up. You may fall eight times, get up in the ninth time and keep it moving. Right. All right. So we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna do some wine tasting. Ask we Josie. are hopefully gonna have the ask Joe. Oh, we got to do this quick. We have a lot of stuff going on. Pew, pew, pew. But we're going to be right back. We're going to entertain you guys with a little bit of music by DJ Prince. And when we come back, we'll kind of wrap up the show. Yep. Have a little fun doing the break. You guys should be here. Are you guys really? going to stick around? We have wine. Stick around. <laughs> they don't want wine. They don't oh. drink wine. They work. Oh, well, good. <laughs> All good. right, DJ Prince, take it away. On your chest and your head now. We're back. It's the Josie Marie <laughs> Show, sponsored by I Review Hip Hop. Yes. We're about to wrap this up. We've just had a very quick last segment. Uh, we're going to have the wine a little bit later. Yeah, probably off off air. Off air. But what do we have here? Oh, we have... Elise White Lexia wine. It's yes. from Australia, I believe. Elise White. The finest Don't wine <laughs> from down under. <laughs> but listen, y'all. Today, yesterday... Uh, well, not yesterday. Last week, we talked about... Uh, Showing appreciation to the people around you to become a better person. So this week, what we're going to try to do, the challenge here is... Dum, dum, dum. Dum, 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 dum. You guys want to know what it is? Are you yes. Guys gonna do it? Did you guys do the, the thing yeah, last I, time? You saw me do it right in front of you. And I told my mom and them I was appreciative of them. Did you? Yes. Did you guys do it? I did. So this this week, we're going to do positive reinforcement, okay? It's similar to last time, but, but if you are a business owner, if you have children, just uh, whenever they do something wrong, enforce what they did right instead of, you know what I mean? Instead of putting them down for what they right. did wrong, enforce what they did right. So that's the challenge for, uh, for, for this coming week. Uh, do, is there anything you want to say? Because we're going to wrap this up real quick. Yes, yes. I just want to say, especially on the topic at hand with supportive, and we yes. talked a lot about support. Parents, young parents, please support your kids. You know, I'm not saying if they want to be drug dealers, tell them to go out in the corner and teach tell them. Tell them to do it. They'll learn something. At the, well, <laughs> possibly, because it could, it could work out. But I, I just want people to start thinking outside of the box and being supportive people of your children. It yes. really it takes a big toll on them yes yes and, and also like it really helps your kids become more successful if you see that your child has this dream and they're just holding on to it so bad and nothing you can do or say is gonna rip them from that dream why don't you support just jump em. on board and support them you will be surprised how far they can go with your support is that's real yes so um yeah we're gonna wrap this up we love you guys uh <laughs> as we're wrapping this up she's setting up the the wine tasting so uh go ahead i think okay no no, we, d- we do have to wrap this up because the next show is coming on. Very true. Very yep, true. They're coming on. Because uh, they're here. But listen, if you guys enjoyed this show today, check us out on Facebook.com slash The Josie Marie Show. Yes. We're on there. We're going to keep talking to you guys after the show. We're going to put up Instagram pictures of the wine we're tasting. So the conversation is not over. It doesn't end here. Yes. And you can also catch past shows as you drop stuff, Felicia. You can also catch <laughs> past shows on SoundCloud.com slash iReview hip hop slash Josie Marie show and yes. we'll, we'll definitely put all those links and segments on the Facebook so just keep looking out for us keep supporting 
as we support and love you guys. Yes, Definitely. and uh, before we go, this is the last thing we're going to say. I know we, we just want to stay with you guys forever. I love you. But what, one thing I just want to say is it is Breast Cancer uh, Awareness, Awareness Month. Month. So if we have any breast cancer survivors out there uh, who would like to come in and, and share with us their journey, their story, uh, and even inspire others who may be going through the same thing that you have went through, please contact us at info at josiemarie.com that's Absolutely. info at josiemarie.com we would love to hear your story and yeah we're gonna stop it right here guys we're gonna have some wine we're gonna talk to you guys on instagram though and straight Twitter. flexing so it's the josie marie show sponsored by i review hip-hop i'm your host josie marie jay lorenzo in the building dj prince on the ones and two everybody chica, in the chica, building chica. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get out of here, guys. Peace. It's been fun. We love you guys. Stay positive. Be inspired. And remember, the destiny is in your hands. Goodbye.